Hey guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at Nvidia stock and let's figure out if tomorrow Nvidia is going to hit all the way to $550. So let's take a look at important key levels that you should be keeping close eye on and also what price action may supposedly do around those important key levels and how should we prepare ourselves to make the massive moves on our portfolio. Alrighty, so with that, please remember none of this is any financial advice and is only for education purposes. Also, please hit the like and subscribe and let's begin. All right. So, oh well, and also guys, I'll cover QQQ and SPY as well in this video. So, well, we have quite an explosion today on NVIDIA. There is no denying the fact that NVIDIA is super strong. I did a video this afternoon as well when it was during the lunch hour and somewhere NVIDIA was at that time around this zone of $515 and I mentioned that wait and watch by the end of the day it's going to go above $520. We closed at $522 and then we made all the way to $526. Now why I want to cover Nvidia again because guys this is where the money would be made. Now many of you would be thinking that hey junior this is super extended this is the time to short it. RSI is super overbought. We are RSI over here as one hourly interval is hitting at an 89 or you know this is the time to short junior like we can take a short position all the way to $507 or down here to $504 right and video is going to come down now. Well not so quick okay. This is where most of the traders blow up their account. You know this is who I was six years ago right like I would be like oh yeah this is the time to short no there are patterns in the price action that you need to follow before you take any move right you have to wait for those confirmation and in this video we'll be taking a look at all of that now but before that let me take you over important things and the price action in itself in the candle today which is a super green candle we have a very clean breakout of one of the very important levels, the $505 that was like sitting there for six months as a top notch resistance, right? We broke that. We broke that without even looking back, okay? And the candle in itself, guys, today, look at it. There is no sign of a single sell off pressure. There is no wick on the two top, very minuscule. And forget the top wick at that because if I take it to the hourly interval again in the post market, it went up, guys. It went to 526. So where are we sitting? So the thing is that trading view doesn't really show the post market or pre market in the on the daily. But this is where Nvidia is sitting right now. This area, price, right? There is not a single sell off sign on Nvidia in the candle today. So. Nvidia is full on bullish. RSI on hourly interval I showed you is overbought. That's fine. Not to worry about it. On daily we are not overbought. Also at the same time look at the amount of strong volume that came today. I'm very sure that so many sellers or short sellers that were piling up let's say around this level even if someone was holding the positions they would all have had been covering today when the price broke above $505. Now how and what levels you need to prepare yourself with for tomorrow and is nvidia gonna hit 550 dollars so let's talk all that stuff so guys technically nvidia has never had this price level before right so there is no price action to compare it with in the past so it's an open sky we call it as an open sky limit and the range so yes nvidia if it wants to hit tomorrow possibly it can hit 550 dollars but where are your positions that you need to be closely taking or watching, right? So the very first level you need to be watching for tomorrow and these levels will also show up guys don't worry in the pre-market tomorrow if you have my indicator. So um, yeah, so the levels that I, I'm gonna cover very close to around those some of the levels will show up as well just like I have my you know these um, orange lines that shows up every day so they will be there for you if you have access to my indicator now speaking of my indicators these are the memberships that i have indicators are part of these memberships feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions on discord link of everything 
is in the description below the memberships links the discount links and the discord link is that is in the description below of this video all right now we have this level that i'm just going to mark for you and that is 515 dollars this is one of the levels you are watching and let's go to the hourly interval and another level that i'm watching guys is 500 and oh sorry another level oh uh, did i take it no that's the right another level that i'm watching guys is 522 and 70 cents now what you have to do with these levels yeah junior you drew this level what the heck do we do with these levels right yes i'm here to answer that for you now 550 dollars you have to forget about if nvidia is going to hit 550 dollars or not you have to work with the price action and then where to take the profits so and where are the entry places now if in the pre-market you see nvidia is weakening and if it break below 520 dollars 522 dollars let's say for for any reason if it breaks below that Keep an eye on $515 and for trading, I would highly suggest you go to the five minutes interval. So what you have to be closely watching guys around this $515 level is you have to be watching some confirmation. Let's say Nvidia started selling off. Then you need to be watching where are the wicks forming, right? And the green candle body forming on the lower interval, like on five minutes interval. And if NVIDIA holds at these one of the levels or these orange lines as they will change tomorrow, you have to watch this price action. But this is closely would be the level at 515 and or around 522. These are the levels that you need to be watching for NVIDIA to make a pullback. And then if the price action holds, these could be the areas to go long. Now, the other thing is that there's a possibility that nvidia can you know just start cooling off right what if nvidia just starts selling off tomorrow right so what are the signs of that well first of all nvidia needs to break below 522 with a strong red candle but that would not be sufficient enough and why so 200 hours moving average will not catch up to that there this is still going to be a support so the level you have to be watching is 515 dollars Look, sure, there's a still good amount of range, 522 to 515, but just looking at the NVIDIA right now, guys, I would only want to trade it short if it's so weak enough that it goes below $515 or also below 200 hours, sorry, yeah, 200 moving average on five minutes. Otherwise, just don't try to short it. Yes, it's super extended, but guys, this is better traded as a bullish trade where the price action i'm telling you is 515 most likely and then 522. if tomorrow let's say in the pre-market nvidia just keeps going up and up and up guys when the market opens it's most likely that you will receive a pullback okay and when you get that pullback you can you know try to play long at 522 but wait for the confirmation of a bullish candle forming right with the wick at the bottom for any early morning reversal, you need to see these strong candles forming with the wick at this one of the important levels. You can't play without that blindly. Just what I want to say is that, and guys, to take the profits, what you can do is during after a few minutes or let's say during lunch hour when price starts consolidating, just like Nvidia did today, just take your profits out, okay? Don't get too greedy. If you made money, just take the profits out. Nvidia will pull in a lot of interests of at this point many um, novice traders they would want to short Nvidia at this point and I'm telling you they're going to lose a lot of money because Nvidia is going to play you know um, it's even if as I said sorry I'm, if I'm repeating myself but it's very important even if you start seeing this sell off tomorrow don't think Nvidia is going to keep just falling. In my opinion, again, NVIDIA can do whatever it, wa it wants, but in my opinion and experience, likelihood of that happening that NVIDIA keeps selling off tomorrow for the whole day and come back to 505 is a rare possibility. It can do it. Not saying it can't do it, but it's a rare possibility. And 
if the only or the only way that can happen guys only way nvidia can come down to 505 dollars is if nvidia breaks this 515 dollars with a strong wick up on the top and a red bar at the bottom then yes you gotta watch 515 dollars but and also it has to go below 200 hour 200 moving average by then i again look I, there's nothing guaranteed that's why we have stop losses but the the probability of that happening guys is in my opinion is low but it can still happen you know i don't want to tell you something that hey i know the whole market no look stock price can do anything but these are the important levels that you need to be watching okay we don't know what type of orders in real time gonna come right i can't look into the future i don't have a crystal ball right so but as for the price session what it's telling us the important levels that's what i want to draw your attention towards on nvidia all right cool stuff guys look at it looks awesome and great right so good stuff now let's go to qqq and spy let's take a quick look at those as well so and i'll have to actually um adjust something on my indicator and that is to go a little bit back in the timeline over here all righty so qq has just hit all time high i'm again it's well this is one of the areas we were talking about in one of my previous videos that qq is still bullish and this was the level to watch 394 and 55 cents um, i did talk about possible rebound on hourly interval on that qq guys sure it can still zigzag around stay up technically it's bullish yes we get that um yeah it's bullish actually <laughs> You know um, I'm not seeing any sign of downside here so here is interesting on hourly interval is this is the place where you would want to take the trade so we already talked about this guys that QQ has hit our one of the levels that we were talking about and today um, it just rebounded right and I think I did mention in one of my videos that watch it getting above this moving averages and then you can trade it to the next level up here 401 and 400 and I think I don't have self-adaptive level on on QQQ. Let me do that. It's just gonna give the, yeah, here we go. Give the weight to the recent price action. And I mentioned that $402.96 where QQ may come, it went higher. But however, on hourly interval, guys, this is the place where you can trade it in either direction. If it gets above 405 and 53 cents, that is above 200 hours moving average. It's a long play in today, stop loss below that. Otherwise, it's a downside play with stop loss on the other above side. So we have to see where the price action holds itself, right? On the, around this level, where are the wicks forming, where it's the price action heading. So this is where you have to be very cautious and careful. Now, let's take a look at SPY. SPY is more bullish than, um, and you know then qq at least on hourly interval it even broke out and above of 200 hours moving average and yeah we have been forming this double bottom and we have been making our way higher on the daily interval guys spy still hasn't gone all the way to the all-time highs but is that gonna happen well technically the spy is still bullish but i just i just don't think it's just gonna keep heading higher 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 but we'll see hey you know i i can i, I can be wrong right um we just gotta see how things pan out but to be honest technically yeah it is bullish it's in the uptrend okay cool good stuff guys well i hope you found this video helpful and valuable if you did please hit the like and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video take care guys bye